Good evening. You're tuned in to Conversations with Yaya. I hope you guys are having a lovely evening. I am. Because I've learned to chill out. Before we start our show, I want to talk about the art of chilling. You know, sometimes we are stressed and we get depressed and we have anxiety because we're forcing things to happen before their time. At least that's what I've learned in my experience. A lot of my stress and anxiety came from me wanting things to happen before it's time or wanting things to happen that that's not meant to happen. And so with that being said, I'm stressed and tossing and turning and bugging out over something that doesn't even exist, actually. How crazy is that, right? So because I've learned, well, I'm not 100%, but because I've kind of, I'm trying to master the art of chilling, I'm feeling okay today. So I want you to try to master the art of chilling. Stop stressing things you have no control over. Stop stressing over things that you want to happen because it might not happen because it's not meant to be. God don't make no mistakes. So today I am talking about relationships. I love talking about relationships, not just intimate ones, but just relationships in general because that's what makes the world go around. You know, whether it's in business, love, life, um, a partnership, a relationship, hell, it could be relay racing, it could be double dutch, it could be the hand drive, whatever it is you need a partner for. Relationships are important. Communication is important. Trust is important. But I want to talk about the relationship that we have with ourselves. I want to talk about single people today. Um, I find that a lot of people um, are only unhappily single because society single shames people, status shames people. If you don't have a girl or you don't have a man, something must be wrong with you. Nobody wants you. You know, people are bullies. And those people are probably one or two things. They are people that can't be alone. They don't know how to be alone because they don't like themselves. So they're with anybody. And also these people are a little envious of your strength and how you carry yourself as a single person. And so they want you to feel inadequate for being single when in fact you probably feel great. It's hard for a single person to step out of that comfort zone and open themselves up for love because we are so used to being single and independent and taking care of ourselves. It's a safe place, right? Yeah. You have your lonely nights and yeah, you have those moments when you go places or you're watching something or you're doing something and you think, damn, it would be nice if I I was booed up right now. But those are, those are fleeting thoughts and those aren't, um, those are temporary emotions and feelings. The bigger picture and overall, being single and just being in that safe space of um, not having your heart broken if, in fact, you are single because you got your heart broken. Um, Not having to take care of anybody or be responsible for someone's feelings if, in fact, the last person you were with really, really depended on you to make them happy. That could be very draining. There's so many, many reasons why we're single And then when you're single for a long time, you just feel safe and you feel free because you don't have to worry about anything or anyone. You don't have to worry about taking care of anyone, being responsible for anyone, catering to anyone. And you don't have to worry about someone hurting you or feeling as if it's too much to deal with you. Which is why people, sometimes people that are single, they stay single for a really long time because It takes an extraordinary person to come into your life and change things for the better. Because your life could be great right now. 
your life could be wonderful. But there is always room for improvement. There is always room for someone to come into your life and make things better. Just the mere fact of having a mate and having someone in your life to add to a life that you've already built for yourself that's already going great. Imagine that. What's better than one happy person? Two, right? So now comes this person that matches your fly, that matches your energy, and they just want to just put more goodness on top of your already good life. Well, that is not an easy thing to come by. And I'll tell you why. It is because when your life is going so great, sometimes people are watching from the outside that may be attracted to you, and they may think, what do I have to offer this person who seemingly already has it all? They look happily single. They look like they're all right. They don't look like they need anything. What can I do? What can I give this person? And so a lot of you don't shoot your shot because you feel like this person doesn't need anybody. But I'm here to tell you, I don't care what you have. I don't care who you are. Everybody can benefit from having a loving, wonderful, healthy mate in their lives. There's nothing wrong with having an addition to your life by way of a person. So I say all that to say this. If you see someone that you're attracted to and you know that they're single you know this for a fact we we don't have to get into why how do you know you just know um and you feel like you want to get to know that person make sure you're not interrupting their life if you see someone just living their life and being great and they chill, don't don't reach out to them and try to get to know them just to fuck with their energy and throw them off. Because I'm going to tell you what a single person would do. I'm going to tell you what a person that's self-sufficient and that's happy with their life is going to do. They're going to shut you down so quick. You're not going to know what hit you. When you meet this person, they're going to seem so cool and loving because they are. They're happy. But if your energy is off even a little bit, even a teensy bit, yeah, they're going to shut you down and you're going to see, it's going to be like a Jekyll and Hyde thing. Because single people, single happy people, we, we protect our energy and our happiness with the strength of a thousand kings and queens. We do not mess around when it comes to our solitude, our happy place, our happiness, our energy. We just not with the shits. And nine times out of ten is because we have already suffered and we've already been through too much and we've already wasted so much time letting people come in and out of our lives as they please and doing what they want and taking us for granted that we're just not having it. So your timing is totally off when you come into our life trying to waste time or you come into our lives not knowing what you want or you come into our lives and you, you just, you get thrown off from how we roll and how we do our thing. So make sure ladies, if you see a guy and he's well put together and he got his shit going and all of that, and you like, damn, I want a man like that. Make sure you're a woman like that. Make sure you got what it takes. Make sure you are confident in yourself to where what he has going on is not going to make you feel insecure. No matter what you have going on. Who cares about money? Who cares about clothes? Who cares about whatever? If you are authentically you and you're happy with you and you are attracted to that man, shoot your shot. 
put yourself in a line of fire. Make yourself seen a little bit, you know. Whatever it is you have to do for him to notice you without playing yourself and without compromising your, your womanhood. Get his attention and keep his attention by remaining confident, remaining positive, and being a positive addition to his life. Whether it's your personality, your sense of humor, you know, everybody has something they could bring to the table. You clearly, you, you more than likely have something in your life that he's never experienced. It could be anything. You could, you know, you could introduce him to a new place to go eat. A new way of thinking just, you know, through your conversation. It doesn't have to be physical. It doesn't have to be material. It's all good. Just be yourself. And don't come up in nobody's life with no goddamn baggage and no problems, fellas. You see a fine woman doing her thing? Don't come into her space playing. Don't come into her space with that fuckboy energy wasting her time and and just doing silly things and, and, and moving slow and not knowing what to do and not even knowing why you approached her in the first place. When you approach a woman, you should know. You should know why you're approaching her. If it's for sex, you're going to get shut down. If she's a single woman and she's happy and all that kind of stuff, don't come at her with that fuckboy energy. And if it's not for sex and you do want to get to know her, then you need to uh, do some prepping before you step to her. If you want to date this woman, you need to already know where you're taking her on the first date, what you're going to talk about. You got to have topics in your head already. You got to just make sure that you're on point because people that have been single for a long time have the shortest damn tempers and attention spans. And that's just how it is. We weren't born that way. We were made that way. All right? So my single folks, for you and for me, be a little patient. You know, I, I get that, you know, we not with the shits and we, we can't be bothered. But sometimes we can be very intimidating in our stance. It's like we, we're single and we're proud and we don't, we don't need nobody's shit and we don't care. That's cool. But we also have to exercise just a little bit of patience, un poquito, not too much, just a little bit of patience to allow people to get to know us, hear us out, and we got to hear them out. They may stutter, they may fumble, because we are downright scary at the end of the day with this single no-nonsense shit we be on, all right? Give these folks a little bit of rope, just a little bit though. This is Conversations with Yaya. Thank you for listening.